Arkansas State offense had a lot of adjusting to do this season. They replaced 10 of 11 starters before the season began, but they have grown, they have matured, and here they are in another postseason. They'll run the option on first down, and it's cut down. Very well, he's going to have to occupy the box early and often. He isn't afraid to mix it up. Should be interesting when he and Rex Stein are meeting the hole. Second down and seven after the short three-yard pickup. And Bryant will give to the up back, and he'll be stuffed. Nothing. Brings up third down. A little bit more than five. See the running back, Bronson Rexsteiner. 230 pounds. He is a load in short yardage situations. Here's Bryant with a first down. He'll take it across the 25-yard line. They'll move the for Kennesaw State. They beat Gardner Webb in that matchup, 42 to 14. Cross that thing. So Kennesaw State playing the best football they've played all season long and at a pretty good time. Bryant now tries that left side and more real estate over there before Mason Alston takes him for game on the ground. How about 53 rushing touchdowns this season as well? First down, 37-yard line. We'll pound it up the middle. And once again, the Terriers there to limit the game of Georgia. Had great Stays at Georgia Southern and Navy, along with Georgia Tech before coming to Kennesaw, Georgia. First down and 20 now for the Owls. Certainly not built for these long yardage situations. Bryant's going to be hit and dropped immediately as Joe Beckett tried to make some tweaks to the attack of Wofford at the beginning of the season, but then pulled back just a little bit. Let this team be what they were meant to be. And that's another contender here in the postseason. Bryant sees absolutely no room to work with. And Jairo Wilson. Third down for Kennesaw State. The at-large berth from the Big South Conference. Bryant back to throw. Rush coming. Gets out of some trouble. Dumps it over the middle. Caught there by Rex Donner, but not much to work with. And seven victories in their first five years of competition. Wofford, though, the advantage here early as Tommy Bryant takes over on his second series. And again, the Terriers stout. Is to disrupt the offensive lineman's ability to get to the second level defenders. Tommy Bryant back to throw. Looks yeah. sidelines, and it was tipped away. Of course, I think the guy who tipped it. Another third down and long situation here for Bryant and Kennesaw State. Spread things out and run it right up the gut. Now here's another option. And this one's going to be cut down. Well played by the Terriers. Built and ready to go. Tommy Bryant under center. 36-yard line. He'll pitch this one right. And some good real estate over there for Kevin Ficklin. And a nice run over people. He's not interested in running out of bounds or around them. He wants to run through defenders. Hats off to the Varsity Club, one of the greatest factions in the history of pro wrestling, representing Michigan. Getting up the field. So far, Wofford seven yards per play. Kennesaw State just over three. Bryant, does he have enough for a first down? I believe he does. So first down, 47-yard line. Bryant once more, this time trying to pound it right up the gut. Another short gain up to midfield. This Kennesaw State team, Carolina, Drew Felios, Forrest Connolly, Wofford up 7-0 on Kennesaw State. Owls, though, have it at midfield here to start quarter number two. Bryant throws it right, has his man. Nice spinoff right there. Caleb O'Neill down the sideline, and he's got the biggest offensive play of the game. So Owls now from the 29-yard line. Bryant wants to throw once more. How about this passing attack here in the first half? Throwing early and often. And this one is complete. That's Rex. Bohan, it says we're still learning. We're still growing week after week. And our passing game is still a work in progress. You see it improving here in this first half. Bryant off that right side once again for just yet. Second down for Bryant. And Bryant inside the five-yard line down to the two. First down. 
This Owls offense averages 40 points per game. Looking for their first points here. Left side and across the goal line for the touchdown. Rex Steiner is the running back. Here's Bryant. Oh, tried to pitch it. Not a good decision. The Terriers have got it at the 43. Defense came out and did what they needed to do to get the ball back to the offense. Let's see how they respond. From the 12-yard line, Bryant. Little hesitation this time. Now takes it forward and gets some pretty good real estate. An 11-yard pickup up to the 24. And the fact that he's not able to put pressure on it is worrisome for this ball club for Kennesaw State. So Jonathan Murphy takes over the helm right now. Second down and six now. Murphy under center for Kennesaw State. Second quarter here from Spartanburg. Yeah. Murphy trying to get off tackle. And the Terriers aren't buying that time. John Beckley for Kennesaw State. Third down and four. Owls hand it to Rex Steiner. He's going to be very close. It's Walford defense from the inside out. Five minutes to go in this first half. There's the rushing story so far. 78 as opposed to 45 on the other side. And this is going to be a pickup of about three. You saw Rex Steiner move the chain. Ball like a defensive player. He's trying to look for contact. Too often backs that we see nowadays run out of bounds or go down after the first contact. He loves it and he thrives on it. Run it one more time. And time. <laughs> Hurry it up. Just under four minutes. Kennesaw State will bunch things up. Nothing too complicated here. And it's going to be stopped. It looks like just a little bit short. Crowd alive and well here in Spartanburg. Murphy hesitates. Ball gets away on the ground, and the Terriers will. In this game so far, see how Jonathan Murphy handles it. Second series for the sophomore Murphy in the backup role, playing for the injured Tommy. Some of the best all time at their positions to play come from the FCS level. Without question. Murphy. Back to throw. He's under pressure. Gets away from it. Stays on his feet. How about those moves? Across midfield down to the 44. What a run by Jonathan. Play by the backup quarterback, Jonathan Murphy. Murphy again to throw it. The southpaw right down the seam. Nearly intercepted. Gave on Cobb. Just from the metro Atlanta area. Says Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee. That's where we find our players. Don't usually go outside that zone. Murphy trying to make it happen again. Running for his life. And he steps out of bounds smartly at the 40-yard. Guys that want to be here. Third down and six. Just nine seconds to work with for Murphy. See if he goes for the home run. He'll step up. Just five seconds now. Murphy getting loose inside the 10. He'll be tackled from behind, and time will expire here in the first half. Line of scrimmage is the 30-yard line. Murphy showed great promise with his legs in the first half, and they'll run it here to start. And Murphy will get a little more than 10 yards and a first down across the 40-yard line. Let's come down in the box a little bit more, and he may be able to get the ball outside with man coverage. 150 rush yards today for the Owls. Murphy faked it to his right. Now looking left. Finally decides to take off and he's eventually written down. And again, it's Joe Beckett. It's winter go home here in the FCS postseason for Murphy and company. Greer in motion. And he'll take it right up the gut once more. Murphy getting loose. Terriers got to get him on the ground. They finally do. Right now, a spectator. For Kennesaw State, we've seen him only in limited duty here this afternoon. Thought we'd see him a lot more than what we have. Joe Beckett, another tough state, tries to tie this game here. 650. 
left to go in this third quarter. Murphy under center. Now wants to throw. Looks for the home run. Steps up. And he's going to be taken down. Wofford gets him down at the 39. It's ability. You know, when you've got another player in the ball game, we know with Rex Steiner, he's going to pound the football down the middle in the gut of the defense. But he wasn't successful early in this ball game, so you have to wonder if this is just a strategic move not to have him in the ball game right now. Bringing up those receivers very, very well. So I think he's doing a good job of not trying to force it, but he's going to have to throw the football eventually for this ball game, you know, for them to win this ball game. Murphy, fate. And now tries to roll out. Finally gets it away, and it's incomplete. Well defended that. The future of the WWE, or is it going to be an AEW? Conversation for another day. First down, Owls, and there's Murphy with a big hole to run through. To the 20 and down the sideline. He's going to score. Time. Looked like he stepped out of bounds. Murphy. We'll take it inside the five-yard line. Instant replay not going to be in effect here. He is fearless running the football. Second down and goal and a 14-7 game. Murphy trying to get to the goal line. And My big fella, and he is not in the ball game. I am not understanding why. Even if he's a decoy, you've got to have him in the ball game. Murphy looking for that block, tries to get it across that plane. Ball comes out, and they'll say it's a touchdown. Kennesaw State on the brink of taking their first lead. This is Murphy. Murphy trying to take it inside. Seconds on the play clock. Plenty of time for Murphy as they adjust the play here. It's Murphy. Keeping it on the outside, and he's taken down about two yards shy. And this looks like it could be a face mask at the end of the play. Well, you saw Coach Bohannon saying, guys, hurry up, hurry up. A little confusion on the Kennesaw State sideline. This is Murphy. Nothing tricky here, just straight forward, trying to get to that goal line. Really good job of finding the scene and getting north and south. Murphy about a yard away here. Let's see if he just tries to go straight forward with it. Trying to drag that pile. And no signal just yet. They're going to say he's short. Instead, it's Kyle Glover, number 48. The lone running back out there right now. And it's Murphy going to try and do it himself. And I think he stopped short. Maybe a second effort. But it's going to be fourth down. And the quarterback for a big run with this block taking out two defenders. Murphy under center. Terriers bearing down on him. Here it is. Jonathan Murphy touchdown. 90 NCAA championships. Thrilled to bring you every single game of the FCS postseason on the ESPN family of networks is Rex Steiner. First time he's really made an impact. Not certain whether he'll have a chance to play next week for the Owls. Right now, Jonathan Murphy, though, the southpaw under center and handing off to his bruising running back, Bronson Rexton. Well, he looks the part. He's got a little blood going on his arm. This, he <laughs> he em embraces everything that you think about the Steiner brothers and what they brought to the table in the wrestling ring. Second down and five. Now for Kennesaw State. And we'll run Rex Steiner. Not much doing this time. Humble County Civic Center. Uh, Rex Steiner on the sideline on third and five. Big play here for Kennesaw State from midfield. Crowd getting behind the Terriers. And Wofford's defense able to stop him shy, but has been a force as a blocker. First and ten. Richardson, rather Murphy with it, and he has sprung loose. Jonathan Murphy! Touchdown! So Jonathan Murphy will take a knee, and obviously number 16, the big stork. Now celebration on the visitor's side. Kennesaw State going to break Wofford's hearts once again.